Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Inform Play Review with me, Boy FIFA 1 HD. We're going to be looking at the second Inform 84 rated Defrel card. But before we do, as always, if you could hammer the hell out that like button if you do enjoy the video, that would really help me out. Also, hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And if you have any questions on Defrel or FIFA 17 in general, leave all of that and ask away in the comments below, as I'll be happy to answer every single question I receive. So... Jumping into this card's stats, and as you can see, there's some good stats and some not so great stats, but where he really excels are attack positioning there at 90. That is unreal. His acceleration is also so, so good there at 95. Agility, not too shabby there at 87. Sprint speed, also very nice at 86. We move on, we see very good ball control and dribbling at 88 and 89, respectively. 90 finishing, which is just incredible, and it feels so, so good. It is untrue. His long shots and shot power are also pretty damn tidy, as well as his volleys there as well. We move on, we see high medium work rates, which are always good on a striker. Three-star weak foot, three-star skills. Although I must admit, his weak foot actually felt a bit better than three stars. Felt more like four, so it is quite a strength, if anything. He also comes with some specialities, including speedster, dribbler, clinical finisher, and complete forward. So let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on the second Inform 84 rated Defrel card were that he was an absolute beast. I mean, this is the definition of a cheap beast. When you can pick up a card, granted it is obviously late in FIFA, so prices, if they're not a team of the season card, are slightly reduced. But you can pick him up for under 30k with a player with 91 pace, with a great nation, in a great league, with, who's also got 87 dribbling on the base card stats and in-game has 90 finishing on a striker. I mean, what more can you ask for? He was so damn good for me. As you can see, he scored some great goals, some lovely ones where he beat like the whole team, some nice little 1v1 finishes, some ones on the turn. I mean, he can score a very good range of goals because he's also got the shot power and long shots to his game, whereby if it's just outside the box, don't be afraid to have a go because he is going to bury it into the back of the net every single time. So shooting is absolutely fantastic. And that is also helped by his amazing attack positioning. To have that with the finishing just makes him so, so deadly and a player that is so fun to use, especially when you add in the acceleration and sprint speed that he has, making for one hell of a pacey player. He is very quick over the first sort of 10, 15 yards. He will leave defenders for absolute dead. So very easy if you like playing those chip through balls or little through balls into him and you like your uh, sort of striker to get on the, on the back of the defenders and be running in behind. He is fantastic for that so easy to slide in if you've got anyone with any sort of half decent passing they are going to have no trouble finding this guy because he is making superb run after superb run and what's more when he does receive the ball with those superb runs he is going to finish nine times out of ten so a very clinical striker that is very good very quick and he's also superb with the ball he is able to beat whole teams as i said earlier and as you'll see in some of these clips he really did beat a few people and he held the ball well he moved it in and out of his feet very very well indeed he has got superb dribbling whereby he is able to jink to skill people to go past people with just absolute ease whereby it feels much higher in all honesty it feels like a 90 rated sort of dribbling you know something you'd get on like an insignia or a sterling sort of that sort of level card whereby it's just effortless you know hazard players like that Neymar etc all of those sort of players whereby they just feel special when they dribble that is what you get with this card which is incredible and it feels so so good it reminds me an awful lot of Scott Sinclair's second in form card which was absolutely mind-blowing too with, with this card he's also in a really strong league whereby there's tons of options and you also get the French connection so there's so many ways you can get this card into your team you could play him in a range of positions too whether you want to play him at cam centre forward or striker although I would recommend striker as that's where I used him and for me he was absolutely incredible such a great player for very very cheap so that is why I've had to give him 9 out of 10 because for the money I don't think you'll find much better with such great options to play him in so many different squads. So for me, he was absolutely perfect. I would highly recommend him. If you are on a budget and you are looking for a great striker to play in seasons, the weekend league, whatever it is, this is your guy. Go out and buy him. 
put them in your team, you will not be disappointed. So I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and peace.